I'm Martin Prossel. I'm one of the curators of the George Stubbs exhibition here at Milton Keynes. And I just want to talk to you about this picture, which is one of the stars of the show. It's got tremendous wall power, as you can see. It's a very large picture. And it was first exhibited by Stubbs in London in 1765. And it must have caused a sensation at the time. It was titled A Portrait of a Hunting Tiger. Well, as you can see, it's not a tiger. We recognize it as a cheetah. But at that time, all hunting animals, big cats, were simply called tigers. And what's happening here is that this incredibly powerful, live animal is about to be unleashed. It's wearing a little red hood, and its handler is holding it, uh, as if holding it back from springing forward. Uh, on the right-hand side, we've got a rather nervous-looking deer, because the deer is the prey. And the idea is that the animal is going to be unleashed so that it chases the deer. It's the moment of silence and calm before the storm, in a sense. Because this animal was extraordinarily, and is extraordinarily fast. The fastest creature on the planet Earth. Um, a cheetah can run at about 70 miles an hour within four seconds from a standing start. So just to put that in proportion, if you had a really fast human being, Usain Bolt, and a really fast racehorse, and you had a cheetah, and they had a race, the cheetah would outrun them both easily, in half the time. The cheetah would come first, the horse would come second, somewhere behind, and then lagging behind would be Usain Bolt. So it's a picture of a tremendous spectacle, uh, exoticism, the Indian handlers, and something which must have surprised and appealed to and, uh, and overawed the public at that time, and I think it still does today.